What is going on guys, today we are looking at some player picks, plus we are going to be discussing what is next, because the horrible reality was that Team of the Season is next, and we've just started April. Team of the Season last year definitely came a little bit earlier than what we kind of expected, due to the fact that obviously everything that has gone on in the past year, so we got Team of the Season so far, so I thought surely it can't quite be the same this year. But what the problem is, is there was still nothing in FIFA 19 from Foot Birthday, which was, I think, end, kind of like start to end of March, May, uh, April. Same as what we have this year, basically. But the problem with that is then we have technically nothing for the whole of April. I don't feel like EA will, will allow that long to pass before doing anything else. But the weird thing is, is what can we do? We obviously didn't get any shapeshifters, which I can't really see us getting anymore. Um, we didn't get Carnival. I believe that was cancelled, I want to say. And then I think other than that, we've not had like a proper Libertadores um, kind of man of the match kind of thing. The only things I think they could do is potentially bring Summer Heat first or they could bring Footies out. There is so little that they can actually do other than making a whole new promo. We obviously have hit 6pm as well, so we'll have a look at the content. It just co-aligned quite nicely that I started recording this. Oh, we have got a Renato Sanchez. What is he coming in at then? 85, 86, 87. That really isn't that bad. That is a beautiful card. The question is, I can't remember what his skill moves was before. Oh, a four star, five star. Honestly, that's going to be a cracking card right there. 88 pace, 85 shooting, 86 pass, 90 dribbling, 83 defending, 90 physicals. Damn, you whack a shadow on him or a hunter, you get 98 pace, like 90 something defending. That is a wonderful, wonderful card. Flair as his traits. Honestly, I genuinely thought he'd be more expensive than that. That is a cracking SBC right there. That's one that we will be doing after we've done Pyre. May even do him before, actually. We've got another set of daily upgrades for the bronze, which is fantastic. And then I think that looks about it at the moment. Just quickly checking the back pages, just in case we've got, obviously, anything else that we have missed. Um, obviously, all of the icon swaps still here for another 47 days, which is crazy because obviously we're going to get this done within the next couple of days. But that is it in terms of content. We've got the daily SBC, which has made a return for the third time now, which is fantastic for a bronze pack method, most definitely. And then obviously we do get this, another mega pack from it. We've obviously got him to finish and him to finish, as well as Dan and the rest of icon swaps. Other than that, I feel... Like, that is about it. We've got MLS 2, which we already had. That is about it. So, we've got, obviously, Renato Sanchez and that daily SBC to complete. Um, so, that's going to be cracking for Bronze Pam Effort. We will start to open these 12 right now. But, like I say, the, the kind of annoying thing is, is where do we go from this? Do, do we get another promo? Do we get um, anything else in terms of content before Team of the Season? Because, obviously, Team of the Season is a massive build-up. It's probably the next biggest thing that we've got. Team of the Year, start of the game, and, obviously, Team of the Season are the, B, the big three. So, we'll kind of open these as we go. So, I'm interested to know, because as a content point of view, it's going to be tough to, to kind of just not have anything. Uh, we will take the 81. We're not going to go with untradables. So, it, it's just interesting to see what do we grind towards, because, obviously... Um, with league SBCs, it kind of filled the void of just completing them. Obviously, the, the kind of player of the months came out and random players here, there, and everywhere. Whereas now, we don't have that. There's very little to grind. So, it's going to be interesting to see what we can actually do as we go forward. I'm hoping that we do get a foot birthday from one of these. Uh, Mandanda himself will get him. Obviously, we're going to try and get his foot birthday in. Foot birthday's been good to some extent. 83 Jesus in the UCL form. Um, I've liked the players. There's been a lot of good players. Jovino and Palacio being my favorite two so far. Uh, we got a big boy party as well. But now all we're looking for really is just as much fodder as possible in the club. And then we'll just continue the grind really. We'll try and kind of save up a lot of packs if there is nothing else before team of the season. Then obviously we will try and kind of grind as many packs together to start that. And hopefully have enough to really send team of the season through the roof. Get another Jesus but we're going to go with the 85 Golaski. And come on we've got four left. Can we find a foot birthday? 
Oh, we get a big boy Edison again and Donnarumma. Obviously, we will pick Edison just because we have got to whack him into an SBC. And I think that one is tradable. Fantastic. First proper walkout as we've got. Ooh, right. We've got, we'll probably end up doing one more. I want to like fully send as many of the golds in as possible. So we'll have a look at the 81s as we get an 84 Orza ball. And the final one of these sets doesn't look like a foot birthday's coming. No, we get Kepa in the gold form. So to be honest, not the greatest kind of set really. We've got a lot of 82s. We've got a couple of, what, an 85, eight, a couple of 84s. And then obviously Edison being a big boy. And the best thing about Bronze Pat Method at the moment is that this is going to pop off once more. We've got all of these selling from uh, from like prior. So all of them have gone for 200 because obviously after about the 30, 40 minute mark, um, everything does kind of lose its value just because everybody finishes it. So we will complete it ourselves. Let's just have a quick look at what we've got to do and then we'll do one more player pick just to kind of tie us over just to see what we have left in the club which what have you got to do here then okay so we've got the blocked off again minimum nationality is three same league minimums two one club six two rares and 40 chem so again it's just bronze players only which is always fantastic we'll go with the austrian league We've got a couple of rares, so that's not too bad at all. Obviously, the 40 chem is always nice as well. We'll whack two rares in there. Treat them to a nice day. And we'll whack everything else in as followed. Might not have a couple of the positions because we've literally just been selling absolutely everything because it's just so much easier at the minute. The bronze pack method has been absolutely popping for us. So very, very happy with that. Uh, we'll whack a center mid in there. Much easier to do. And then that, to be honest, that should be it. Uh, minimum national, uh, minimum, what's that? Nationalities. Have we, oh, okay. We didn't put an, another one in. I thought we had two already. Uh, let's just find somebody else. I guarantee this is where we couldn't find one. I guarantee. Whack the left back in, and there's the 40 chem. Easy as you like it, and it's brilliant. Bronze players, uh, bronze packs for literally free gold rare players, and it's just as easy as that. We will just go ahead and send them because more than likely we will get a 75 rated player or 80 rated player that can go into that SBC. Um, and we get the first day complete. It's just nice. It's a nice little upgrade. I like these sort of SBCs that kind of, I know the problem with them is in terms of EA standpoint from not doing them every single time is that you can make so much coins off it. We made like 50, 60k off bronze packs yesterday just off literally nothing like opening bronze, not even getting anything worth really shouting about. So it's kind of nice that we have, um, have had these kind of go through as I feel like foot birthday would have been... A little bit dire without anything because at the minute we've had two teams, relatively good players. There's some, there's some nice players in there, some really good cheap ones as well. As we get a walkout, it's going to be, go on, someone big. English, right mid, it's going to be a bit of Jaden. Okay, I think we have already got him in an 87, so he again will be another one going into an SBC shortly. Okay, we'll take that. We'll absolutely take that. He is tra untradeable, so that's not bad. And literally, just off bronze players into an 87. Sometimes you get a bit lucky. I've seen foot birthdays come from them and everything, so that is quite nice. And the best thing about that is we have got player picks to do. So they don't really count towards packs, which is always fantastic. I think we can do one or two more, and then we'll call it quits. But I want to know, what are you going to be doing with your time on FIFA if we don't get a promo? Because that is the kind of harsh reality is that we don't get anything for a month. Again, can't see it, but it is always possible. I swear I've got I've got a few more players than that. Did I? Okay, maybe not. Right, we'll whack. We'll do one more. We'll just get anyone in the off league because I don't like putting 81s in as obviously you are sometimes only getting 81s out. But we can whack some of the non-leagues in there. Uh, they're the 82s, so keep them. So if we go with MLS and then we look at Netherlands because they're easy to get. And one more we'll go with... We'll go with Volland because he seems to be more than uh, packable. And then we'll finally finish off with some of these. Let's just see if we've got any kind of like... In fact, we want to go with more major leagues, if anything, because the Saudi league is going to be great to get the gold, uh, the gold players back. It's what we're going to be doing kind of going forward is literally just smashing out these packs, getting our club back up to standard for whatever promo comes next, and then we can just full send again. And I've been noticing as I've kind of been taking my time more with league SBCs, I've seen the kind of more benefit side of actually 
getting coins from it like i think what i was doing prior and it was the bad way of doing it is just trying to fully send everything before actually being able to complete it with profit so it's nice to be able to finish it and get some coins back bronze packs obviously are helping so we can sell all of the other rubbish and then we can obviously um keep anything that is worth of value and we finish off with an 85 in form. I will absolutely take that. That is beautiful to help out with any icon pack that comes out in the future. Hopefully did enjoy though. Obviously, bronze pack method is going to be popping off right now. So definitely go ahead and go and open up. Because as you can see, literally everything's going to be selling. So make sure you go ahead and take advantage of that. Don't know if it's going to be gone by the time this. But hopefully you know for next time. For tomorrow when it happens exactly again. Bar from that, make sure you like and subscribe. See you for the next one. Peace.